Hello everyone, John of All Games here with a Minecraft tutorial to show you how to install a Minecraft 1.3.1 vanilla server. Go to Minecraft.net, click on download. Download the Minecraft server exe. When you get that, place that into a folder and then you will have it as you can see right here. It's in a folder. Okay. Now, the next trickiest part that most people have a problem with is Java. So what I'm going to tell you to do is to go to java.com, click free Java download, then click see all Java downloads. Now I am using Windows, okay? I have Windows 64 bit, it's Windows 7, but it doesn't matter what you have, you can run 32 bit Java on 64 bit Windows. So for the sake of argument and having multiple batch file options, do this download the Windows 32 bit Java right here on top. What that's going to do is download Java 7, as you can see here in the bottom left, JRE7. It's going to be Java 7 for Windows 32 bit, and you can install it on 64 bit Windows. Doesn't matter, just changes the path where it goes. All right, so run that, install it. Then what you're going to want is this code right here. Okay, now pay attention to me. If you're on Windows 64 bit. What you just downloaded will install to this path right here. Program files parenthesis x86 close parenthesis. Okay? That's if you're on Windows 64 bit. If you're on Windows 32 bit, you're going to want to just remove that right there. Parenthesis x86 parenthesis. You'll remove that so it just says program files and then the percent sign on either side of it, okay? Because we did Java 7 and that is the path. Since I am on 64-bit, I'm leaving it just like that. Now, I put it in a regular text notepad file. So now you need to go to File, Save As. Uh, that's on the desktop, but we can put it right in our server folder. Where is it? Right here. Okay, we'll just call this Run. It doesn't matter what you name it, but you need to go... Okay, type run.bat bat like the animal and then click save as type and click all files that lets you actually create the batch file instead of just naming it run.bat text file all right get it that's important right there now run.bat okay save now we can close this text file and you'll see in our folder there is now a windows batch file now we're gonna run that and as you can see, starting Minecraft server version 1.3.1, it worked! Alright, I also ran it with one gigabyte of RAM, so you don't really need that much if you're not going to have a lot of people uh, joining your server, but I just ran it with that because I have plenty to spare, and if you want to change that, just go in there and edit that batch file and change this 1024, you could change it to 512, and then you're running on 512 megabytes of RAM. You gotta change both of those right there. All right, that's it, it's that easy, really simple. Uh, you need to leave, you need to leave both those windows open apparently to run it, but you wanna run it once and close it as it was uh, preparing the world. Oh, you're supposed to type stop, my bad. So after it runs, type stop right there and it will actually save it like it's supposed to. And there it goes. Press any key to continue. Okay, see it closed now? Now, yes, it does work if you just double-click Minecraft Server EXE and it runs it. But what you will see is that it runs it with only about 100 megabytes of RAM. And that is just not enough. Again, you could hit stop here. So, that is the reason for the batch file. That is why we have it. And now you know. All right, so thanks for watching. I think I covered everything I needed to there. I will put annotations up at the end of this video for the bucket server, which you can run to have server-side plugins. I will put that right here once I make it, and once bucket you know, updates their uh, files to be compatible with 1.3.1. .1. Down here, I will have a batch file tutorial that you can click on if you're still having problems. It's what I made earlier with all the versions of Java and Windows. Uh, here at the top, you can see I'm giving away Skyrim when I reach a certain number of subscribers, so click on that if you're interested in entering.
and check out all my other stuff and playlists to see all the good stuff that I'm making. Uh, please give me a like and a favorite if this worked for you, and be sure to subscribe, definitely. Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.